kiddos, welcome back. And as promised, we're going to work on a few uh, molarity, molality, weight percent calculations for you. So we're just going to jump right into it. So let's start with number one. How many grams of sodium sulfate, Na2SO4, are in a 350.0 milliliter, uh, milliliters of a 0 0.250 molar solution? So I have 350 mils and the molarity is 0 0.250 molar and I want to figure out the grams of sodium sulfate. So here we go. I know molarity and I know volume. So here we start with our volume in liters. So that would be 0 0.3500 liters. We're going to multiply my molarity as a conversion factor. Remember 0 0.250 molar is the same as saying 0 0.250 moles in this case of Na2SO4 per liter. Okay, so we want to hop out of liters and get into moles of Na2SO4. And my conversion factor says I have 0 0.250 moles of Na2SO4, 0 0.250 moles of Na2SO4 per liter. So liters divide out and I'm in moles of sodium sulfate. But I want grams of sodium sulfate, so that's not a problem. Let's hop out of moles of Na2SO4, and we'll get into grams of Na2SO4. And you'll notice I gave you the formula weight. You guys are good enough at looking up uh, the atomic masses on the periodic table and figuring out the molecular and formula weight. So I'm just going to give that to you on this assignment. And it says uh, it's 142.04 grams per mole. So moles divide out, and I am left with grams of Na2SO4. So let's plug and chug and see what we get. A 0 0.3500 times 0 0.250 times 142.04, and that gave me to three significant figures, 12.4 grams. Okay, that's pretty easy, isn't it? All right, why don't you try example two without my help? Here I'm wanting the volume, and I want that volume in liters or milliliters, I don't care, of a 0.75 molar solution that can be prepared from 500 grams of potassium carbonate and Notice I give you the molecular weight. So take a minute, try that without my help, and we'll come back to the video and see how you did. All right, welcome back. So let's see. Um, I know the molarity, and I know the grams of solute. Um, let's see. We're probably going to have to convert that to moles at some point, aren't we? Yeah, so let's go ahead and start with that. 500.0 grams of K2CO3. We're going to go from grams of K2CO3 to moles of K2CO3. And I was kind enough to give you the formula weight. Isn't it 138.21 grams per mole? All right. So we've now got moles of potassium carbonate. But I don't want moles. I want the volume of that solution. So, let's see, my molarity is 0.75 moles of potassium carbonate per liter. I think I can use that as a conversion factor. Let me hop out of moles of K2CO3 and get into liters. And it says I have 0.75 moles of K2CO3 per liter, so 0.75. 5 moles per liter. So moles of potassium carbonate divide out, and I'm left with liters of my solution. So let's see what we end up with. Uh, we have 500.0 divided by 138.21 divided by 0.75. Looks like I'm only allowed two sig figs. I got 4.8 liters. Now that would be 4,800 milliliters if you folks went to milliliters. But that's what I ended up with. Pretty straightforward, not too hard. All right, next one's going to be a little bit challenging and a little bit different than the ones we've done so far. So I think I'm going to do this one for you, okay? So I want to know the molarity of a solution, and I'm giving you its percent by weight, 29.0% by weight, 
of a potassium hydroxide solution. I'm also going to give you the density of that solution. You'll see why in just a minute. So I want to find the molarity, which means I need to know the moles, so molarity is moles of solute and liters of solution, and I don't know either of those things, do I? I mean, I give you percent by weight, and for crying out loud, I give you the density for some reason. Well, let's play around with this a little bit. We've seen percentages before this year. Don't we always assume we have a certain weight of something? Yeah, don't we assume we have 100 grams of my substance. In this case, it's my solution. That makes the math easier. So if I have 100 grams of solution, won't 29.0 grams of it be KOH? Hey, now if I know grams of KOH, I should be able to find moles of KOH. So let's hop out of grams of KOH and get into moles of KOH. And I gave you the formula weight again. Put a one by mole, 56.11 grams. All right, so grams will divide out, and this will give me moles of my KOH. So let's see what that turns out to be. 29.0 divided by 56.11 gives me 0.517 moles of potassium hydroxide. Okay, I'm not done, but don't I have my numerator now? Hmm, all I need to do is find my denominator, liters of solution, and I should be able to complete the problem. How would I do that? Well, hey, look, I have 100 grams of solution, and I also know its density. Can't I go from grams to milliliters of solution with the density? Yeah, it's 1.28 grams, see 1.28 grams per milliliter. So grams of solution are gone, and I'm in milliliters of solution, but remember I want liters, so aren't there a thousand mils in a liter? All right, so let's see what the volume of my solution is. Um, 100 divided by 1.28 divided by 1,000. Looks like I get 0 0.0781 liters of solution. So I have my liters of solution now. Hmm. I have moles and I have liters. So molarity would be 0.517 moles of KOH divided by 0 0.0781 liters of solution. So 0.517 divided by 0 0.0781 liters gives me 6.62 molar. So I found the molarity of my solution by giving you the percent by weight and the density. Wasn't that fun? <laughs> I thought it was. All right. Let's try a couple more. So example four. All right, this is a molality problem. Why don't you try example four without my help? So pause the video and then come back when you're finished to see how you did. We'll see you in a second. Bye-bye. All right, welcome back. So now I'm giving you the molality, 4.00 molal. I'm giving you the mass of the solvent, 2.50 kilograms of water. And I want to find grams of ethylene glycol, C2H4, and then OH in parentheses, 2. Hmm. Well, let's start with our kilograms of solution, two point, or excuse me, solvent, 2.50 kilograms of water. So I'm going to call that my solvent, and then multiply by a conversion factor. Now let's think about my molality for a minute. Isn't that 4.00 moles of solute per kilogram of solvent? So I think I can use that as a conversion factor. I'm going to put kilograms of solvent on the bottom and moles of solute. And my solute, by the way, is C2H4OH2. All right, so what would I put there? Well, it says four moles per kilogram. 
4.00 moles per kilogram. So kilograms of solvent are gone, and I'm now in moles of my solute, or ethylene glycol. So I just need to find grams. So remember, that's fun. We've been doing that forever. So I'll put moles of C2H4OH2 on the bottom, grams of C2H4OH2 on top, put it one by mole, and once again, I was kind enough to give you the formula weight, or the molecular weight, 62.08 grams per mole. All right, so now we just need to plug and chug. So 2.50 times 4.00 times 62.08 gives me, wow, um, 621 grams of C2H4OH2. Okay, if I did my math right. Okay, 621 grams of C2H4OH2. Alrighty, last problem, number five. This is one I want you to do by yourself. I'm giving you percent by weight of potassium carbonate, and I'm giving you the density of the solution, and this time I want you to find the molarity, which we did on an earlier problem in this video, and the molality of that solution. So take a couple of minutes, honestly try this on your own, then come back to the video, and we'll see how you did. All right, welcome back. So let's see, I want to find molarity, which will be, um, moles of solute divided by liters of solution and molality that's small letter m hey that's also moles of solute but i want kilograms of just my water or solvent here all right so let's see if we can do this we are going to assume we have 100 grams of solution Okay, wouldn't that give me 22.0 grams of potassium carbonate? Which, since we need to know moles for both of these units of concentration, let's convert my 22.0 grams of K2CO3 to moles. K2CO3. So one mole of that weighs 138. 0.21 grams. Hey, I thought we've seen that earlier on this assignment. Yeah, I think we did. All right. So let's see. That would be moles of K2CO3. Let's see what we get. 22.0 divided by 138.21. To three sig figs. Looks like that's 0.159 moles of potassium carbonate. Now we're not done. We only have the moles of K2CO3 right now. We need to find liters of solution and kilograms of solvent. So let's find liters of solution first. If we have 100 grams of solution, can't we use our density as a conversion factor to get out of grams of solution and into milliliters of solution? It says it's 1.21 grams per mil. 1.21 grams per mil. So grams are gone and I'm in milliliters. So let's hop out of mils and get into liters. Remember, there are a thousand milliliters in a liter. All right, so let's find out what the volume of our solution is. So we have 100 divided by 1.21 divided by a thousand, and I get 0 0.0826 liters. Okay, now we should be able to find my molarity. So molarity is moles of solute, so moles of K2CO3, which we know is 0.159, divided by liters of solution, which we know is 0 0.0826 liters. So 0.159 divided by 0 0.0826 the three significant figures is 1.92 molar. So the molarity of my solution, part A, is 1.92 moles per liter. Now the molality, small letter m, that would be moles of solute again. So moles of K2CO3, that's 0.159, divided by kilograms of my solvent. 
right, which is going to be my water. Hmm. Well, if I have 100 grams of solution and I take away 22.0 grams of solute, I should be left with grams of solvent. So 100 minus 22 is 78.0 grams of solvent, which is 0 0.0780 uh, kilograms. So I'm going to put that right down there. 0 0.0780 kilograms. So let's see what my molality is. 0.159 divided by 0 0.0780, and that gives me a molality of 2.03 molal. So we have my molarity and my molality. And all I gave you was my percent by weight and my density. Wasn't that fun? All right, kiddos. Well, we'll be able to practice some more of these in class. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.